Yo, what's up, YouTube? So today we are gonna be reacting to Kanye West, man. Um, if you're new to the kingdom, subscribe, man. Now, <clears throat> now, I'm trying to understand what the fuck is going on and shit like that, cause I don't know. Oh no, what the fuck going on? <sighs> I just, I just know, like, I just know I woke up, went to Facebook, seeing everybody saying he canceled motherfuckers disowning him and canceling, uh, you know, partnerships and deals and companies and shit like that. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a get more in depth with my opinion and shit after I understand what the fuck more was going on. Uh, I will say. That anybody that comments on this video, uh, you know, this is the king, this is Q, Mafia, you know, the family, this is QTV. Every, every fucking opinion here, um, we don't have any rules to no opinions. You can state and say how the fuck you feel. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to judge nobody. I ain't here to, you know, I'm not here to cancel. I don't really believe in this whole cancel thing. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Uh, I feel like it's bullshit. And I feel like... I feel like for one, they try to... People try to... People try to label people like... Um, like everybody is perfect. Like they're perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like I never understood how they... How a lot of people say that they believe in God and they Christian or they this, they that and they all holy this and that and... One of the number one rules in the Bible says don't judge. You know what I'm saying? Like, no one should judge but God. But a lot of people tend to judge everybody every motherfucking day. That's why I don't really believe in a lot of bullshit that I was, I was, you know what I'm saying, raised upon. I don't believe in a lot of that shit. Like, like I don't, I don't believe nobody's perfect. I don't believe in no cancel, you know, this, this cancel shit. I don't believe in there's a right or wrong to an opinion depending on the situation because a lot of this shit doesn't like me personally i feel like everybody has the right to speech and anybody can say how they feel what i don't like is how you know people be so quick to follow suit to cancel somebody when they didn't let somebody else get away with the same exact damn thing or worse <laughs> but let's get into doubting it. what you're you don't saying. care I do care. You don't care about me. You don't care about my people. I care about me. I care about my people. So as for me to stand up and God forbid I step on someone's toes while I'm at it. It's not someone's toes. You stepped on the entire Jewish people's toes with a very deeply inflammatory tweet, which I think you've now accepted. You shouldn't have phrased that way. It's taken a bit of time to get there, but I think you have accepted that, right? Have you accepted that you've put no effort into understanding how I got there. I, I don't think, I don't think, honestly, 10 years from now, honestly, I don't think there you're is gonna any. You're going to apologize to me about this no, I'm not. interview. I'm not. You're going to apologize to me about this interview within the next 10 years. No, I'm not, because here's the thing. Mark I don't, my words. I don't doubt you've had. It's very one sided. No, it's not. It's very, it's no, very white sided. Oh, come it's on. It's very yay. one sided. Don't... It's very like. It's, yeah. not, it's not white sided. And, I'm, and I ain't even going to cap, like, I was seeing some clips of Kanye on TikTok and shit. Um, <clears throat> I want to know personally what he said about the Jewish people. Because I'm not going to lie, like, in high school, I did learn about Jews. Like, I didn't know shit about Jewish people or Jews or no shit like that. I knew nothing about it. Until one day, you know, back in high school, I think I was a freshman, they had us, like, Reading a whole bunch of Jewish books, you know what I'm saying? Like, we learned about the Holocaust. We learned about this, this, that, and the Jews, and you know what I'm saying? The Dales and how Hitler got a lot of them killed. Shit like that, you know what I'm saying? But I don't I don't know what he said that offended everybody, you know what I'm saying? But by the, by the sound of how dude coming, you know what I'm saying? Like, Kanye said some shit, and it came off, it probably came off disrespectful or some shit. I don't know. But what I will say, I feel like Kanye, I don't know, man. I don't <clears throat> I don't know, but I can't put my finger on it. Like all I know is that like I'm I'm gonna try my best not to say too much. Like this may be a long video, y'all, because I'm very 
concerned and interested into shit like this because I know shit that not everybody know. You know what I'm saying? And something told me to react to this video. Like, I was at work and shit, and I got chills. I said, I said, oh, shit, you need to react to Kanye West. And I got chills through my body. And I feel like that was a sign saying, like, oh, yeah, you need to react to this shit. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I do feel like, I don't know, I feel like Kanye West may be on to something. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to still watch this whole like, six-minute video and shit, but I do feel like Kanye West is on or something. I don't know what he said about the Jewish people, so I'm not saying I agree with that shit. Like, I'm still undecided. I don't know what the fuck going on. I'm not really here to pick a side, honestly. I, I'm just here, like, because I do feel like Kanye is on to something. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I feel like he's on to something. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> and I ain't gonna say what that is. I'll tell y'all in the middle of that video. I'm not doubting you've had business issues. I'm saying the way to respond to that is you not to go public me. to millions no, of people me. and you say you're going DEF CON 3 on Jewish no, people. Millions but of people. All right. Millions of people have had DEF CON 3 on their contracts. Right. You millions didn't, of you didn't say that. Home to their girl you didn't say that. Said, M millions of people, well, I open it up. Now, I, I didn't, but now I'm saying it now. So. Okay, so now what now I think you should say, I think you Are should you... say to the Jewish people, I'm <laughs> sorry for the offensive language I used in that tweet. I wouldn't do that again. This is what I really meant. I think people would respect you if you said that. I don't know why you can't just say that. I'll, let me, you know, you, know, you know when I'll say it? When I sit down with the people who write out the contracts for the NBA and for the NFL, and for professional music, and for uh, acting contracts. We need to go to the top lawyers, the top execs, the owners of the stadiums, the owners of the football teams, and the owners of the record labels. And we're going to put them all in one room, and we're going to read every Let's like go top ten in each one of these categories, right? Let's read Michael B. Jordan's okay, but contract. Why would any of that? Let's okay, but why would Donald's any of that? Why bro, would any of hey, that? Bro, hey, hey, bro, I ain't finished. I ain't finished my sentence. Nothing I you're, nothing you're saying has idea. anything to do hey boy, with regret. Hey, hey boy, don't call hey me boy, boy, don't finish. I told you. Oh, don't treat me like a boy then. I'm, I'm going to finish my sentence and my idea. Nothing you're saying has got anything to you're do not, with okay, the tweet. Cool. Uh, bro, it? I was in the middle of a sentence, boy. Okay, so are, are you going to allow me to finish my sentence? Yes. If you then answer my question. Okay, so... Okay, so I'm going to tell people when I would apologize for the tweet. This is what has to happen first. I need. I feel like, I feel like he's trying to make a statement. Mind you, I don't know what he said. So like, <clears throat> nobody by any means who watches this video don't think I am saying I agree with what he said. Do not switch my words up. None of that bullshit. But I do feel like he's trying to make some type of statement. Like he. He ain't finished it yet, but I feel like he's trying to make some type of statement for his people or some shit. I don't know. I don't know yet. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But he naming, you know what I'm saying, cunt. I don't know. It sounds like he's saying he wants some shit to be, he wants some shit to be fair. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I need all of the top executives in Hollywood. I need the top executives at the NBA and at the NFL. We'll, we'll do those two sports specifically. And I want the top executives in music, dealing with publishing, dealing with uh, like Spotify and Apple Music and uh, Universal Music and all the top exec. Uh, let's do like five top execs there. And I want to look at the top 10 earners in each one of those fields contracts openly. We want to compare and contrast the contracts. And then once we open that conversation and we need to do it on a platform live, with lawyers asking questions, and we'll and we'll have the top lawyers like a Johnny Cochran, Robert Kardashian level legal team, you know, looking at all of these contracts together. After that moment happens, then I will say, I'm sorry. Okay, if that's your position, Inter that's clear. interview interview adjourned. Love you. <laughs> Okay, that's the end of the interview. I mean, I, I, get, I just get the feeling from you that you're, you're obviously a complex character. 
brilliant in many ways, fascinating, like I say, compelling. Uh, you have a huge appeal to millions of people around the world. It just seems to me that occasionally your mouth gets you into trouble and that perhaps on reflection, sometimes you look back and wish you hadn't said things. Is that accurate? Nah, not really. <laughs> because the things I say are on behalf of God. Like, it's not always... And I said, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know about all that shit, what he, what he talking about. But, <clears throat> but I'm going to just pick up some notes that I see <clears throat> when I, so, so I, I noticed, right? I noticed that, um, you know, every once in a while, Kanye does something to set him a fucking number one trend in, in the fucking world for some reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just, we just gonna be honest here. You know, Kanye does something every once in a while to fucking set him trend and number one person on Google search every once in a while. And for some reason, it's always for something. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I think he did it for, yeah, he did it for, he did it for Donda. You know what I'm saying? Damn, why I can't talk? Like, damn. But uh, he he did it for Dunda, you know what I'm saying with the him and fake beefing and you know this is better, this is better. Whoa, whoa. Um, with this one here though, this this one hits different, and I'm gonna tell y'all why this shit hit different. This hit different because as you know, if you could go, anybody can search this shit up. You you know y'all know, but uh, you know, Adidas, Adidas dropped Yeezy. You know what I'm saying? Drop, dropped him from the company Adidas. And they also lost, like, what, $200 million, uh, you know, dropping him down from them. Uh, so now Yeezy is 100% of his. Yeezy is 100% is his. 100%. Not no partnership deal. See, he started off with he started off doing Yeezy with Adidas because he needed their uh he needed their platform and he needed they 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 uh they marketing, you know what I'm saying? He needed all that. He needed he needed it, you know what I'm saying? But now that he's big and Yeezy didn't sold or uh, you know, Yeezy didn't made it higher than, you know what I'm saying, then Adidas probably even saw it. He said, you know, I could do this and do this. And I don't care if they drop it. You know why he don't care? Because he own 100%. Like, he didn't have to. Like, let's be real, bro. Think about it like this. Everybody saw everybody saw all eyes on me when Tupac tried to go to Suge and was like, man, I want out. And Suge point out that checkbook look like, nigga, where you going? You ain't going nowhere, nigga. You owe me all this money. Nigga, I didn't pay... 30, 40, 60 K for you in these studio albums. I done paid millions of dollars worth of video shoots and you know what I'm saying? The parties, the it's like that when you in deals, you know what I'm saying? It's like that when you in contracts. Unless what? Unless one, <laughs> your ass dead. Two, you do something to make these motherfuckers say, Oh hell no. We ain't fucking with him. Bah. You know, and they and they close the deal for you. Like, man, here we don't give a fuck about this company. You can have all this shit one hundred percent. We don't give a fuck. Just get the fuck away from us. We want no parts. And I feel like this is what he's doing on purpose, bro, because he dead ass what? Now he own one hundred percent of Yeezy. And then there's some other companies I didn't low key forget about. Saying that they they stopped. No, oh, um, good music has been dropped from Def Jam. Um, and something else happened with him, man, but what they don't get is that, you know, this nigga really finna own 100% of all his work. Like, he, for some way, he just forced them <laughs> from fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit crazy. Always God leads like, because Kendall, I'm a man, it's Kendall, it's Kendall but God Smart. is definitely using me. Uh, you, are you, you're, 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 uh, Catholic faith? I am, What's yes. your background? I am What's your... 
is he's definitely smart. Like I ain't gonna lie. Like and and I think that's what is what what he's trying to do. And who knows what else he's gonna do? You know, once this shit all die down, who knows? You know, all I know is that by him owning one hundred percent of Yeezy, he will. You know what I'm saying? If 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 he's not already a billionaire, he will be. I do know that. Catholic, Religious. Catholic, yeah. Well, we're we're working for God here, and it's just like with black people now with entertainment, we're coming into wealth, but all the other you know, black people with anywhere near uh, my amount of wealth would never cross the lines of, you know, taboos inside of the media that I would, that actually we used to in rap. All these words, we used to say these, so it's all these like words that are being removed from our vocabulary, words that evoke emotion. Don't you feel like the salt is being taken Hey, hey, see what I'm saying? Like, he's not, he's not lying. You know, that's not a fucking lie. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not a fucking lie. You can't even, like, nowadays you can't even have a freedom of fucking speech. You know, without the fucking media slandering you and, and saying, oh, no, you canceled this, you canceled that. Oh, no, fuck you, fuck this. Now you have no type of money coming in because the media is so many, it's a million it's millions of people going off through emotion on the media, renting about you, which is causing you to fuck up your business and your paper. But this shit is rare, bro. We done seen this shit happen with too many artists. You got the baby. Even though the baby kind of did, you know what I'm saying, shit that shit on himself. But come on, man. You know what I'm saying? If that's what the fuck he think, that's what the fuck he think type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like nowadays, you know, people got... It's like nowadays, the way how media works and people are running shit, it's like they got a gun to your fucking head and you're only eliminated to saying this. You know what I'm saying? Which I'm not saying, you know, shit that these motherfuckers that, that didn't said is correct. Because me personally, I believe in respect. I'm a respectful ass person. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't cross no line with somebody unless they disrespected me. And speaking of that, who knows what the fuck Kanye didn't see, bro? Like, just think about, just think about it, bro. Like, matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact, I'm going to say it like this, bro. I think what, a few years ago, uh, Jay-Z was at the table, right? Jay-Z was at the table talking about, uh, talking about that football player. I can't even fucking, what the fuck is that nigga name, man? Oh, Colin Kaepernick. Jay-Z was at the table talking about Colin Kaepernick. And, you know, the table was pretty much surrounded with a whole bunch of... And this is no, you know what I'm saying, no racist shit, no shit like that, bro. Uh, but, you know, J Jay-Z was sitting around the table. He the only black dude in there. Everybody else around there was, you know what I'm saying, uh, white type shit. And... Jay Z, I, I'm not gonna lie. Like seeing that, you know, they asked Jay Z something like, "How do he feel about the Carla Kaepernick documentary or some shit like that?" You know, and he didn't stand with it. And I was like, "What the fuck? Like, how you black and you, you up there, but you don't stand with it?" You know what I'm saying? But this is where Jay Z and Kanye West is different. Now just just follow me, bro. I'm giving y'all a fucking free game, bro. Just follow me, bro. Like I'm I'm waking some of y'all niggas up for real because I, I'm already woke type shit. But I'm waking some of y'all motherfuckers up, bro. But he's giving free game. I mean, I'm giving free game. But Kanye West is too. And this is where they different at because Kanye said some shit. Boom. You know, he just simply said. I haven't, you know, someone black with my type of wealth, you know, isn't going to cross the lines that I will. And he's pretty much saying, like, hey, look, I didn't make the money. I didn't hit the woman. I didn't seen what I seen in this shit. And now I don't, I have the power and the money and the authority to step over this fucking line. What the fuck y'all going to do about it? You know what I'm saying? Like, 
that's pretty much what vibes I'm getting off. You know, and you got other people on the other hand that they're going to just follow the train. Like, oh, if this train takes me to get my next $10 billion, I'm going to follow it. You know, a lot of people don't, a lot of people bite their tongue and they don't speak. Kanye ain't one of those. He don't give a fuck. He, he Out of our, our food, you know, look at Dune. The people who control the salt controlled all the money. And people are trying to control, control the salt. And it's salt in our language. That's why I'm, I, I will not apologize for uh, having a bit of salt in my words. I will say, hey, this can be improved on, but it's like, hey, look, I'm an update. You're looking at the God's iPhone 100. We are God's iPhone, right? If you think about it, we're his favorite creation. We were made in his image and we need updates and society capitalism, media, and thought police have been stopping us from our updates. We have to have a thought and then we have to actualize it. I like the word actualize better than execute because execute's a negative word. We, we discussed this. We have to actualize. Well, oh, man, man, look. <laughs> I want to know more into this shit. I still got to figure out what the fuck this man said. But if you're new to the Candy Man, subscribe. Feel free to comment down below if you get what I was saying. You know what I'm saying? If you agree, disagree. You know what I'm saying? Comment. You know what I'm saying? And I'll see y'all on the next video.